In this video, I will provide you with roof framing suggestions, no wall framing or any other structural suggestions, just a few ways that you can build a larger or wider building, especially a garage. I've been getting a lot of requests for this video. And if you do need more information on how to build a larger building, feel free to let us know in the comment area. And I might make a video series on how to build a variety of different sized garages or buildings with conventionally framed roof rafters that would not have engineered trusses in it. So what we have here is a 30 foot wide building with two by six rafter ties that lap in the middle and the rafter size is irrelevant here. You're going to have to check with your span charts or your engineers or local building authorities and contractors to get that information. And in reality, a 30 foot building can probably be built with larger roof rafters than two by eight or two by six. And for those of you wondering how I'm getting the roof rafters to line up at the top and the rafter ties to connect to the same side, I'm just simply angling the rafter ties. And that's not going to be difficult to do in this long span. And of course the rafter ties will lap. And I believe a four foot lap would be sufficient with about 10, 16 D nails on each side. And the rafter tie will be held up by a two by support, two by four that will nail into the ridge or the roof rafter. And you can see here where I rotated this one 90 degrees from this one. And we'll let you choose which one is going to work better for you. Because in a situation like this, we're going to be nailing this support brace into the ridge and then end nailing this two by four rafter tie into the brace or toe nailing the brace into the rafter tie. And this is another question I get a lot. A lot of people think that this brace right here is helping to support the ridge and is only used to hold up the rafter tie to prevent the rafter tie from sagging down, especially in longer spans. And if that doesn't make sense, you need a little more information on that. Let us know in the comment area, along with any other questions you will have about this particular framing. And of course, your collar ties, a two by four will do, a one by six, I believe will do. And the collar ties along with the rafter ties cannot be spaced more than 48 inches on center. However, you would need to check with your local building codes to verify that information. And in our next example, what most of you have been waiting for, how to frame a conventionally framed roof using construction standard lumber and no engineered trusses in wider buildings. So here we have a 40 foot wide building and we're simply going to install structural support beams in the middle of the rafters, the middle of the span here, middle of the span over here. And sometimes we will need to install a structural ridge beam that will be supported in the same way these beams are supported with a post transferring the weight down to the building foundation, which might require a concrete pad here, something larger than your original footing. And the rafters will simply lap and fasten together with 16 D nails. And I'm guessing you would use about 10 nails here. And no, 10 is not the magic number. Another thing you would need to check with your local building authorities on. And this realistically is the key to making wider buildings with conventional lumber. By reducing the overall span, cutting it in half sometimes or even thirds, depending upon the width of the building and the materials used. And sometimes the rafter ties can be supported by the roof rafters using support braces like these. And for those of you who have been paying attention, you're probably wondering why we don't need rafter ties to go from one side of the building to the other. That's because we're using the structural beams. The structural beams will function in a way when built correctly to prevent the walls from spreading out, which is the main reason why we're going to be installing rafter ties. And if you install a ridge beam, you might not be required to install rafter ties. However, you might be required to install additional bracing to prevent the roof from moving in a variety of different directions. 
Last on our list, let's take a look at a 60 foot long building. And you guessed it, all we need to do is add a few more structural support beams along with some building hardware. I'm not going to be providing you with all the building hardware you're going to need in this plan. However, straps will be required to connect wall framing top plates together. And I do have more information on a variety of different things at our website if you need to look at it, along with strapping, structural bracing, collar ties, rafter ties, you name it. Head to the website, check out the roof framing section. And in the longer buildings, you will have rafters that will again connect to the other rafters and to the structural beams. And you will probably need some blocking in between the roof rafters. And hopefully if I have done my job correctly, you now understand a little more about how to build a few different types of roofs like these.